Morning, we begin with the end of an era at Dallas City Hall. In a few months, Dallas will elect a new mayor. Term limits prevent Mayor Mike Rawlings from running again. So this morning, the mayor is in studio to look back on accomplishments and to look ahead at what his successor will likely face. And joining the question, as always, is Bud Kennedy of the Star-Telegram. Bud, thanks for coming in. Mayor, morning, good to Mike. see you again. Good to see you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you as well. Let's start out with the, with the, uh, the basics here. Accomplishments you're most proud of, and where do you wish you spent more time? Well, I'll let you guys figure out about whether my accomplishments or not, but let's talk about, uh, first of all, it's been an honor to serve these citizens. Um, but it, I think the story is growth in Dallas. I mean, over the last uh, eight years, we've never grown faster and on a bigger base. I mean, uh, the values of this city are, uh, uh, grew by over 50% in that period of time. Uh, in southern Dallas, also in north Dallas, uh, we have uh, uh, got the southern Dallas moving again, and we're seeing jobs, we're seeing new retail, we're seeing things happen. So I'm excited about that. Um, uh, we're a safer city than we've ever been as well in, in decades. Um, it's tough because uh, crime is a personal thing, so if it, it happened to you, you don't feel safer, but the numbers show that. Uh, so we've got a lot of wind at our back um, in, in this city. The question is what's going to be like for the next 20 years. And you said in the state of the city the, the Dallas has its swagger back, I think, is, I the, think is so. the term you used. Where do you wish you spent more time, though, Mayor? I, I think really engaging uh, uh, our system on how we get more voters out in city elections. That's the thing that disappoints me the most when we have uh, elections where uh, 2,000 people determine whether uh, someone's going to get elected or not with billion dollar budgets worries me. Uh, I started that a little bit late in my uh, tenure. I wish I'd have gotten uh, on that issue earlier. Mayor, there's a lot of time spent this year talking about the Amazon bid. Uh, what did we, uh, what, what do we have now? What do we learn from the Amazon bid? How does Dallas go forward? And, and what did we overlook while we were focusing on Amazon? I don't think we overlooked anything because the reason we didn't get it, or at least the logical, rational reason we didn't get it, we knew uh, it's really around tech employees. We've got more tech employees in the Dallas area than almost Houston and Austin together. So we do really well there. When you go back east, we, we, there's a step function uh, um, a level that we need more of those. So to me, we showed very well, real estate was great, cost of living, transportation, quality of life, all those things were fabulous. The issue is we need to get more and better educated tech employees, and that's where the focus needs to be here for the next um, uh, five or six years. Mayor, let me brag on you for a moment here, too. Mm -hmm. You greened up the city since you uh, came to office. Clyde Warren Park, the, uh, the, the deal that happened with the uh, Fair Park, the plan for P Fair Park as well, too. You successfully led the city through Ebola, through the uh, Dallas police ambush, too. Um, and as you said in your last uh, uh, State of the City, kind of getting a swagger back is kind of where Dallas is now. If term limits didn't prevent you from running again, would you? No, I wouldn't. I, I think term limits are a good thing. Um, the city's had eight years of me. They need somebody else. We've got a term limit at home, too, so it's important. I am, I, I'll tell you, the, the sneaky story that people don't talk about is the greening of the city. 140,000 people, more than when we started, uh, are, are close to a trail or a park, 10 minutes walk. We've got five new parks downtown happening. Um, we've got uh, 200 uh, uh, 15,000, uh, 215 acres of bought land for new parks. And I think that's going to pay off in the long run. So it's uh, the key in leading a city is not just solving the issues at that moment, but set, setting a foundation for the future. And I think we've got something there. You know, Jason asked, would you run again if you could? And, and if, if, since you can't, do you plan to serve in another public office? There's a lot of demand for a leader who knows business, particularly a Democrat. Yeah, I think I'm too centrist, okay? I, I really am. I mean, too you know, centrist for who? For uh, the political parties, okay? I'm a fiscal conservative, very uh, progressive from a social standpoint. Um, and most importantly, look, this is a, a servant leader sort of mentality. And politicians got to be in there for the career. They love it. They, they, they love the battle. They love to the fight. Uh, I, I'm just a, kind of more into serving. 
Mayor, affordable housing remains a huge yeah. problem in Dallas. What should the next mayor look at with that issue? Well, first of all, we've got to make sure we can walk and chew gum at the same time. We've got to be able to build enough affordable housing units for our workforce. Uh, uh, the jobs are coming. We're going to get these folks trained. We've got to make sure that we've got affordable housing so we don't end up like San Francisco or New York. On the other hand, we can't scare off the developers. We've got to make sure that they keep coming and, and make sure that they're going to be able to make good financial investments. And sometimes those two things are in contrary. So it's a tricky issue uh, uh, to do that. And that's why uh, um, a heavy uh, hand on a keel to keep us down the middle is important. You mentioned uh, the growth in the southern sector. Grow South, your initiative to kind of get that going, ha has done uh, a lot of good down there. But there are still some necessities like grocery stores that despite the city's efforts, still haven't taken root there. Yeah. Why not? Well, first of all, because southern Dallas is so huge. I mean, look, it's 55% it's, uh, of our city, and you can't cover that with half a dozen 10 grocery stores, even the new ones that have come. Retail that is happening there is exciting. Uh, around uh, Redbird, uh, uh, it's, I've been to three new openings right there and it's happening. But in other parts of the city, we haven't got it there. And this is gonna be a decade, two decade uh, uh, opportunity. But um, the foundation's in place. We've gotta deal with poverty, okay? Uh, we still have pockets of extreme poverty, and that's why I created a, the Child Poverty Action Lab to, to put all of our organizations together to deal with that issue. So bringing those folks up, keeping the jobs going, the retail will come. You get one more shot at talking to the Texas legislature. This is yes. your, your fourth time down. You know, what points do you want to make with them? What do you wish the legislature would do? Will you be able to gain any ground, maybe at least a few more dollars for behavioral health? Well, mental health is a big issue, uh, and it is a core issue of crime, of homelessness, and the like. Uh, I just spoke on that uh, a couple of weeks ago, and uh, that's I'm, I'm preaching that. I think the big issues, though, is let's make sure we've got the funding for our public schools. Uh, DISD has done a remarkable job turning this uh, ship around. And, and there are policies that are working. Now we can fund those things to scale them and make them go faster and better. And I think the second thing is to make sure that we don't kill the growth engines that are becoming uh, Texas's growth engines, the big city growth engines. And for some reason, there seems to be a battle with the legislators in the cities. And they shouldn't be. We should be unleashing the cities for this growth. Mayor, final moments here, too. Your gig is up in five months. Where are you putting in applications? What's <laughs> next for you? I've been a businessman my whole life and, and probably will. I'm going to take uh, some time off uh, over the summer and, uh, and rest and kind of get centered again. Uh, and uh, I'll, I'll always stay involved. This is a great city. It's given so much to me, and I'm so proud to be part of it. All right, Mayor Mike Rollins, thank you very much. We appreciate thank it. Thank you, Mayor.